students, uh, parents and carers of Albion Park High School, we are returning to on-site learning on the 25th of October. That is Monday of week four, and we are really excited to have everyone back. This is the first in a series of videos to help you unpack the requirements to a safe return for students to face-to-face -face learning. Student safety and well-being is our number one priority as students return to face-to-face -face learning. You can rest assured that the school has done everything required to meet the COVID safe guidelines imposed by New South Wales Health. This first video is all about the safety protocols of the school, and that includes personal hygiene, the wearing of masks, and it's gonna break down the idea of cohorting and what that means. Hey, sir. Oh, g'day, Tyne. Oh, Tyne, I, I think you need to wash your hands. They're a bit dirty. Oh, I, was, I just fell over. I was just playing. Oh, it's all right, I'll just dust it off. It's cool, I'll just dust it off. So hygiene is going to be really, really important, guys. So you need to wash your hands and wash them thoroughly. Try singing happy birthday um, as you wash your hands to make sure you do a really good job. Oh, so happy birthday is all right, but my mum taught me a different song. <clears throat> Never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. Never gonna turn around and hurt you. I'm good to go now. Sanitize me. Let's try that again. Thanks, sir. No worries. Oh, this smells great. I feel <laughs> so clean. All right, come on in. Let's go. So, do you even have enough hand sanitizer, Bart? Oh, time. We have sanitizer for days. We have so much at the school, it's going to be very, very safe. Now, at the start and at the end of every period, we're going to have to sanitize. That's the way to go. All right, seven plus seven is 11, plus one is 42. All right, guys, uh, the bell's ready to go. Can I get you please to wipe down your desks, please? As you know, at the end of every period, it's very important that we disinfect all of the desk space thoroughly that we were working at so that the space is clean for the next person. Thank you very much for doing that for me, Ty. A-okay. Uh, all right, everybody, let's talk about masks. So masks are mandatory whenever you're on site here at school at all times. Also on buses and on special transport to and from school as well. Now, you can apply for an exemption to wearing a mask, but this needs to be done by, uh, by a process and approved by the school. Now, it's recommended, please, that you bring your own mask. Something like this is far more durable and comfortable. The school does have um, a range of the temporary masks available, but we would recommend that you bring your own mask, please. Um, you can take your mask off whenever you're eating, whenever you're drinking, or whenever you're exercising. Otherwise, guys, whenever you're on school grounds, it's masks on. Here's Miss Matt with the do's and don'ts of mask wearing. So here's what cohorting is. The basic idea is that students are gonna be remaining within their year groups as much as possible. This is to limit the interactions across the entirety of the school. So what this means is that students are gonna be learning in certain rooms and certain locations where they will be staying for all of their learning um, during the day and teachers will be coming to them. Also, during break times, uh, year groups will have set spaces to which they can go to. This will limit the interactions across the year groups and make a much safer school environment. So what this means is that different year groups will start school at different times, have different break times and end school at different times. All of these details are clearly listed in the comprehensive plan that's been emailed to all parents. 
Also, as a side note, the support unit and the Parkside Centre are classified as a single cohort. If you do have any questions or you, if you have not received that document, please contact the school and we'll send a copy out to you straight away. All right, as a final point here, um, please, when you do return to on-site learning, if you do have cold and flu symptoms, for the safety of everyone, please make sure that you remain at home. Now, uh, our next video is going to be all about being in the right place at the right time. So stay tuned, everybody. Thank you.